Hello and congratulations to the 2015 Environmental Health and Safety Te Technician class. Most of you know me. My name is Paul Krasowski. I'm METI's Program Developer and E-Learning Administrator. I'm sorry I can't be with you guys today, but uh, I have to be in Halifax for an appointment that I just can't miss. But I wish to share with you how METI's CHST program changed my life and it was a catalyst for a major career shift. Initially, I returned to Cape Breton in 2009 after a lengthy career as a public school teacher and as a university lecturer, only to discover that no work existed here for me. Facing the reality that I needed a career change, I walked through the doors of METI and I met Joe Pembroke. Joe informed me about the EHST diploma program and where such a designation could take me. Having considered my options and remaining willing to take a chance, I sat in my first class. For the first time in my life, I was hearing terms like internal responsibility, hazard assessment, risk assessment, safe work procedures, industry recognized practices, hierarchy of controls, hazard mitigation, and so on and so forth. And needless to say, I was overwhelmed, but despite being overcome, I worked hard. I applied myself and I was willing to learn all I could. The strategy worked for me because in the summer of 2010, I sat where you sit today, in the graduation ceremony. So now what? I had a designation as an EHS technician, I had a host of safety certifications, and I had a, a new working knowledge of safe industry practices, and a novel conceptual approach to industry, and the prospect of a new career. So I started submitting resumes, and within a matter of weeks, I found myself in Weyburn, Saskatchewan, as a safety supervisor on a seismic exploration crew. I learned as much as I could, I applied myself, I worked hard, and I employed the knowledge and the vocabulary that I had recently gained at METI. As a result, I soon faced promotion within the seismic industry. I was sent to Calgary, I was sent to Anzac, and 101 British Columbia. As my knowledge grew, so did my confidence and my ability. So I left seismic to oversee a pipeline construction project in Hudson Hope, British Columbia. I served as a safety advisor within industrial construction in Coal Lake, in Edson, and Grand Cache, Alberta, in Fort Nelson, BC. I oversaw safe work practices for Potash Corp outside Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. And I supervised the first operation of a thermal cuttings cleaner in North America, in Drayton Valley, Alberta. And as the uh, site orientation stickers on my hard hat will attest, I've worked pretty much through Western Canada as a HSC advisor as a safety supervisor. I eventually moved out of the fields uh, to pursue my first passion, which is training and training development. And I designed training for the upstream oil and gas industry's training provider. Now, I've worked my way back home and I'm designing and developing the quality training that METI offers. My advice to you, graduating class of 2015, would be to follow the path I traveled. That is, be confident in the designation and the certifications and the knowledge that METI has imparted and that you now possess. Know that you are among very few within industry and that you are well versed in institutional life safety. Yours is the skill set that industry craves. Employers, leaders in operations and safety supervisors all know that an incident-free workplace is a profitable workplace. They know that the ambition of zero incidents is as desired as a profit margin. So good luck all, enjoy your new career paths, and remember that we're always here if you need advice. Keep in touch, and we'd love to hear how you're doing.